Hello, in this video we're going to look at calculating the output gap between real GDP and potential GDP. We're also going to look at Oaken's Law. The output gap is a percentage difference between real GDP and potential GDP. Here's the formula. Real GDP minus potential GDP all divided by potential GDP. We'll do some example problems. Real GDP is 680 billion and potential GDP is 720 billion. What is the output gap? Plugging our numbers into the formula, real GDP minus potential GDP divided by potential GDP, we get minus 0.056 or minus 5.6 percent. So this is an indication that the economy is underperforming. It is in a recession. In terms of Oaken's law, it's an empirical relationship between the output gap and cyclical unemployment. According to Oaken's law, the cyclical unemployment rate will equal minus one-half the output gap. So in our example here, we could estimate that the cyclical unemployment rate is 2.8%. In problem two, potential GDP is $400 billion and is expected to grow at 3.5% per year. If real GDP in four years is $440 billion, what is the output gap? First, we need to solve for potential GDP in four years. So we're just going to do the following. 400 multiplied by 1 plus the growth rate, all raised to the power of 4. And this power of 4 represents four years here, so n periods where n is 4. And doing the math here, we get 459 billion as the expected value for potential GDP in four years. So plugging our values into the output gap, real GDP in year four is 440 billion minus potential GDP all divided by potential GDP. We get an output gap here of minus 0.41 or minus 4.1 percent, another recession. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.